Okay, this one is about the service valves and uh, the lack of sealing, the, uh, the O-ring in them leaks, and so on like that. A lot of you guys out there have been using uh, assorted sealers that claim all sorts of things about sealing this type of thread. Now, it's my considered opinion that putting some sort of sealant on the threads in this thing is pretty much useless because they're not tapered threads. They're just a straight thread, almost like a bolt. So uh, the thread actually kind of spreads apart when you tighten it up. Uh, and I'm going to show you a close-up of these threads with the cap tightened down tightly. Okay, if you look at these threads, you can see that they are uh, all to one side. Well, that's because towards the right is the end of the cap, the, the open end of the cap. And as you tighten it down, the thread uh, contacts the left side very hard, but the harder, harder you turn it, the more it opens the right side. And also, look, you'll see the tips of a lot of those threads are actually bent over. So they're torqued out of shape. So what you've got here is something that's not only uh, pulling apart, it's actually opening the cap, because you can see the thread, uh, the male thread portion does not uh, go up into the, uh, the slot of the female portion. It's actually pulling out. The harder I pull on that, the more it's going to pull out, and the wider the gap's going to be. I, I don't care what you put in there. I mean, guys tell you you're going to put all kinds of crap in there that's supposed to seal everything. Plastic crap's not going to seal something like that because there's no sealing in the thread itself. This is, has to be a liquid or gas, well, a gas uh, seal, and you're not going to get a gas seal there. Now, the other part of this thing is where the cap fits on to the valve itself, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, here we're looking at the cap. The top of the cap is on the left up there. And uh, the threads, of course, you can see in the far right. Now, as you look at this, there's nothing in that uh, little U-shaped spot up there. Nothing touches anything there. So there's no seal there. And remember, this cap, the top of that cap is probably about a sixteenth of an inch thick. It's not very thick. Okay, the only seal is there towards the center left where the cap has this little piece that comes down and kind of seats on the valve. Well, you can see it's, it doesn't look like a very good seal because you got one part there that looks pretty good, but the rest of it is kind of broken up or something. I don't know. It doesn't look very good anyway. And also, the reason you, you are trying to seal this cap is because the O-ring leaks. Why did the O-ring leak? The O-ring leaked because the valve is warped into an oval shape. So this thing is really not going to seal. It may seal around part of the way. You may even put a bunch of glop in there and get it to seal for a little while. But it's not going to seal permanently. That cap is way too light to be torqued down heavily. You saw that on the threads. Um, that, you know, essentially that thing's a dust cap. And you may get it to seal for a little while, but you'll be back on it. So, pretty much this is what I'm telling you. Replace the valve. If that O-ring leaks, replace the valve. 